Our big story on 12 News at 5. For the first time, we're seeing new video of the suspected serial street shooter behind bars. The jail now releasing hours of surveillance video taken just outside Aaron Saucedo's cell. Good evening, I'm Joe Dana. And I'm Tramai. Mark and Caribe are off. Team 12's William Pitts is here with what this new video reveals about Saucedo and the case against him. Will? Well, the decision to keep Saucedo in jail and out of court was calculated. His lawyers really don't want you to see him at all. This is Aaron Saucedo's life, two small rooms in jail. Most of the time he's kept in that far room. That's where the bed and toilet is. When the door opens for an hour each day, he gets a little more space and access to a phone. The surveillance video inside the special management unit shows him making phone calls and otherwise pacing his cell. It's the first look we've had of Salcedo in months and the only one we're likely to get until his trial. Aaron Juan Salcedo. Salcedo is accused of being the serial street shooter, killing nine people, shooting three more. The serial street shooter was the focus of a massive manhunt stretching across the valley. When an arrest was finally made, Phoenix Police Chief Jerry Williams made the announcement personally. The investigative team has found probable cause to arrest 23-year-old Aaron Saucedo. Saucedo was already in jail on an unrelated murder charge. He's charged with murdering his mother's boyfriend in 2015, right before the serial street shooting started. But we've only seen Saucedo in court once. His lawyers tried to keep any cameras in the courtroom from showing Saucedo at all and lost. They claim just seeing Salcedo at the defendant's table would convince people he was guilty, but the judge did not agree. Instead, they've just kept Salcedo out of court completely. He's not required to go to his court appearances until his trial. That trial is still potentially years away. Prosecutors have said they will seek the death penalty. Until then, Salcedo will stay here in these two tiny rooms. Now, the scheduled trial date is set for 2019, but that could also change in the next two years. Prosecutors could also try them separately for all the murders or break them up into groups. William Pitts, 12 News.